As everyone knows, uh, the compact lithium is just booming right now. The market is huge, and uh, everyone wants a little compact 12 volt set of uh, power tools. Now, what you see here is one of the old DeWalt trusty DW920 screwdrivers. Uh, it's a great tool, but the battery packs are very big and uh, outdated, and they're just not even that powerful either. They're only like one amp hour. So I'm going to show you here how to upgrade one of these little guys to lithium power. Uh, I'm going to run it off two 18650 cells, which is basically what they use in all the new Makitas and Bosches and DeWalt's. Uh, I have two of them right here that I actually pulled out of a Makita pack. They're uh, the Sony 18650Vs. They pack quite a bit of punch. And uh, as you can see, I already took apart screwdriver and it's pretty simple there's only four little torque screws and then that one big allen bolt that goes through the uh, pivot assembly so what I'm going to do to make room for these battery packs is because I want to sit them in there like that so I'm going to take this bottom adapter off and make as much room as possible in here probably have to dremel a little bit of stuff out but these 18650s will drop right in. Now because I'm using this tool, uh, it's not going to have any low volt cutoff or anything to shut it down for a BMS system when the cell gets low. I'm just, I know, I use these tools every day. I'll be able to go home and charge it. I monitor my charging with a turning meter. So uh, just be advised if you do upgrade your tool. Uh, and you don't put a BMS in or a buzzer or some uh, some type of PCB that you can damage your cells from over discharge. After some light dremeling and uh, washing off my plastic sleeves, I got the batteries to fit inside where I wanted them. I just uh, took a sandpaper sleeve on the Dremel and sanded out uh, all the little spots where I needed to and the little holders on both sides. Took about 20 minutes. Had to do some touch-ups right up here on this side where it held the old uh, terminals for the batteries. You had to get in real tight to get the battery to drop in because I want it tucked up there as far as possible so it doesn't stick out on the bottom. Okay, so I have quite a bit of progress. I have the batteries soldered and in place. I soldered them to the existing wiring. They're very short wires. I just uh, pulled the whole assembly over to my soldering iron, soldered it. I even uh, put two leads out for charging. Uh, I can hook those up afterward. I got them running underneath the battery pack and have pretty much everything back in and assembled. And the drill is working. So now I can uh, button this thing up and uh, see what we can do about putting in a charging port. I have the drill completely back together. Uh, I have my charging leads cut to length, and as you can see, the cells are f slightly under flush with the bottom of this. I could shave this down. I could shave the front of this off quite a bit. That whole hole you see there, you can take all that out. You want to keep the little flanged out spots where the screws go through and attach it to keep the thing nice but otherwise you can shave this whole front part off I mean the drill is fully functional and forward reverse it'll pivot down there's your pivot what more do you need let's see if it can drill now that's what you want to know does it have power do these cells have enough power let's find out let's see what this thing can do Oh, you get sparks coming out of this thing. This thing's powerful. Woo! Look at that. It's a beast. Huh, trigger's tough to get used to. Not used to having a variable speed. That's nice. The extra squeeze is full speed. The variable speed trigger works great. 
if you open it up because I did because I converted it it'll show you that it's the same trigger almost that they use on almost all their drills they're rated up to 18 volts this one's a 14.4 trigger so you don't want to use it over 18 volts not bad but it'll draw you can draw almost 10 amps through this variable speed no problem So, let's see what else we can do. Like nothing. So, went right through the cardboard box too. Good thing I don't need that. Draw some five sixteenth text. Just spin it right through. Not bad for two little batteries, huh? Stripped it right through again. Bad, not bad. I like it. Now this will save you a ton of ton of money because what I did, two little cells. These were free for me because I take them out of stuff that people give me that is broken. They think it doesn't work and has one bad battery and twenty good batteries, you know. And uh, you can get one of these on eBay for about twenty five bucks. You don't need the batteries because you're gonna put your own in it. And it's one of the better screw guns out there because it's variable speed and it has a clutch full metal work body and it's got the angle so when you want to drill you can still push the force down this is a great tool I actually used it about five years ago uh, before lithium compacts came out but now that the compacts are out I got tons of the tool sets I got an M12 set I got the new Hitachi impact gun uh, as you know I bought the Black & Decker VPX set that I've been using but this is a great little tool I'm probably gonna put this in my collection